Now let's go ahead and talk about the different light types that are available to us with Unreal 4. So the first light, if we come over here to the placement browser, is the directional light. And a directional light imitates something like the sun. So when you talk about sunlight in video games or in computer graphics, sunlight's usually represented or considered to be a light source that fires off parallel light rays. And what that basically means is that there's no real source or position to the light. So the only way to change the way that the, uh, that the light behaves is through rotation. So if I move the light around, you notice that the light doesn't actually change. It still looks exactly the same. If I rotate it, however, the lighting in the scene will change. And that's because this is, uh, this is meant to imitate something more like the sun where sunlight doesn't change position, it just changes orientation based on what time of day it is. So if I go over here and lock the viewport to the actor, what I can do is I can basically lock my viewport to the point of view of the light itself. So now it's very easy for me to orient the direction of the light and position it exactly as I want it. I'll go back and unlock the uh, viewport from the directional light. You know, if I pull back my camera, there's the directional light. So that's a great little handy tool for uh, being very, very precise about how you place lights in your environments. So again, the directional light is a great light to use whenever you're doing outdoor environments and you need some kind of light source that imitates something like really bright moonlight or sunlight in an outdoor environment. So we do have the ability to change things like the color. So if you're doing maybe like a sunny day, uh, middle of the afternoon, you might want to warm up the color a little bit. Now the color usually is white. The reason the color changes throughout the day from the sunlight is because of the way that the light scatters through the Earth's atmosphere. But you have the ability to change the color. Another type that, of light that we can put down is a spotlight. And a spotlight is one of the most common lights in computer graphics and video games. And it pretty much behaves like a flashlight. So if you think of a flashlight, a spotlight is basically the same thing. You get a cone angle, which is represented by this uh, light blue or gray cone angle uh, icon that shows you where the light's going to fall. So I can move this light around, reposition it. This light, unlike the directional light, is position dependent. So moving the light as well as rotating the light changes the way that the light is going to uh, illuminate your environment. So I can rotate this like a spotlight or like a flashlight or I can also lock the viewport to the light and then I can very carefully and precisely place the light exactly where I want it. Now you also notice that the cone angle icon which is this really big uh, sort of cone that extends out from the light has a radius to it and it has a distance. If you, if you look at this, you'll see that the cone angle is limited. It doesn't just go on forever. If I use the scale tool on the light, I can increase the size of the cone angle. Not the distance, but the size of the outer cone angle. So I can make the, the light wider or more narrow. I can also increase the intensity. And this was um, basically anything inside of that light radius or inside of that cone angle is going to be illuminated by the light. Anything outside of it is not going to receive any light. So again, you can change the color of this light, the cone angle, as you can see. So you can make some narrow light beams coming from, like, say, the headlight of a car in the middle of the night. Or you can really widen these up and make stadium uh, floodlights for, say, a sports game or something like that. The attenuation radius actually controls the distance at which the uh, the cone angle is going to influence the world. So if I increase that distance from the attenuation radius, this light is going to reach further into the world and throw the light out farther away. If I shorten it, it'll have the opposite effect. So we have a source radius as well. We can increase this source radius and then change the source length. And this is going to affect the actual surface area of the light itself. So you can start to see the specular reflections on the floor are going to change and adjust based on whatever my source radius and source length are set to.
So you can see we have this small round highlight. As I increase that source radius, the highlight gets uh, much larger. Let me delete that light. Now we're going to look at, so I'll go ahead and place a point light. And this is probably one of the most common types of lights you're going to place in your environments. And a point light actually is, is uh, not like a spotlight. This light shoots out light in every direction. Above it, below it, in front of it, behind it, to the left, to the right, pretty much everywhere. And you'll see that we have this radius around the light. If I scale the light down, you'll see that the radius scales down as well. And anything that's inside that radius will be illuminated, etc., etc. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, these are the three main light types in Unreal 4. And um, these are the lights that you would use to go ahead and start to populate and light up your environments and your levels.